Hey guys! A lot of people have requested a review about the backpack that I bought while I was in New Zealand. Previously, I was using the e-bags that I have a review about that I love. I still love it, but it wasn't, it's not like a proper backpacking backpack. It doesn't have really great support. So I wanted to get one that had more support that I could take on a trek if I needed to, um, but that also kind of has the same features that I love, which are zippers and um, easy accessibility and a good size. So I found this backpack. It's Katmandu. Um, it's 55 liters. I pretty much love it. I was looking for a backpack just like this for the longest time and then I found this and I'm very happy. So it's like this. It opens, this is the back. It's adjustable so if your like torso is lower, is smaller, you can adjust the um, height of the shoulder straps. It's not quite made for like backpacking backpacking. It's more of like a travel hybrid type. Um, which is good for me because I do mostly just travel. Um, but one thing I really like is in the back here, these all fit in like this. And then there's a little secret compartment. This comes out. And if you're going on an airplane and you don't want like all these straps to get in the way, stick that up. Now it's all nice and compact on the back. So the front, this part is the top, it's heavy because it has stuff in it right now, but it has these clips here. There is a nice pocket up here, put things in, um, there's also a mesh pocket on the inside here. Then the main compartment opens with a zipper, which is really nice, I think. It opens kind of like a suitcase, so it opens like this much. Which is great because for getting stuff in and out, you don't have to like take everything out to get one thing at the bottom. You can kind of just open it up and get, get what you need. I really like that in a backpack. Um, I think it just makes it so much easier and it's really nice. So, and it's, but it's still, it doesn't open 100% all the way. So it's still kind of like backpacking style. And there's also on the side here, there's a side zipper pocket, uh, which is nice. And then on the other side, there's like an open pocket, which like when I took this trekking for a multi-day trek, like I'd put my water bottle in here. Um, you could put your hiking poles or whatever. Um, it has like a handle on this side. At the top here where the zippers come together, there's a little spot for a lock. Um, so you can lock it up if you have any valuables or something. Um, if you're like leaving it behind at the hostel, it's just nice. Just nice for peace of mind, I think. <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like on and full of stuff. All right. Here's what it looks like on. I got my straps and this. And then here it is. Yep. Dun, 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 dun. Not too big, I don't think. And it sits nicely. I think it's a perfect size. You couldn't carry this on an airplane, I don't think. Eh, you could try. You could challenge them. I don't know. Actually, maybe when it's all zipped, if you don't have stuff in the top, when it's all zipped up like this, I haven't measured it. I don't have a tape measure right now, so I'm not gonna do that. But I really like it. Now, I will say if you're gonna actually be doing mostly like outdoor trekking and back that type of backpacking, it's probably not the best. Like the straps that go around the waist on the bottom like weren't Mm, they're only okay like they didn't really like fit my waist I've tried on a lot of other backpacking type backpacks and like the way they fit your waist is like much more secure and better this isn't quite made for like really outdoorsy stuff it's like a hybrid like I said so if you're doing mostly like outdoors type stuff I wouldn't probably recommend this I get like an actual backpacking one also um, if you're doing like more outdoorsy stuff, you want like a lot more straps and like maybe straps on the bottom to attach like sleeping bag, tents, whatever. Uh, but for my purposes, for mostly just travel and staying in hostels and whatnot, I thought it was perfect. I really like it. It's uh, much more supportive than my e-bags one. I feel like I could walk a lot farther with it on um, than my other one. My shoulders just did not get as tired and it could hold a lot more. Like, the, my e-bags one says 55 liters as well, however, this can hold a lot more than that, and I feel like it's easier, like, I don't know if it's because the way it's laid out, but, because it's like, you can 
zip up the sides and then just like push things in and you can really fit a lot more if you want to um and then because it has like this top part here too like you can kind of like adjust the straps and just throw a lot more things in there so if you're thinking about getting this Kathmandu backpack I highly recommend it um I really loved it for traveling like travel backpacking and uh if you're doing sun trekking I did like a one night trek and it was good. Uh, if you want to see what I packed in my backpack when I was in New Zealand, I have another video about that. Check it out. And if you want to see more travel videos from me, then subscribe. Uh, and I have more um, packing videos and stuff and travel vlogs and all that good stuff. Um, thanks so much for watching. Bye. I also pack with packing cubes and packing bags because I think it makes it a lot easier to find stuff.